Well, today was another beautiful day. We still got the sunshine across the area, but almost a 30 degree drop in your temperatures. Yesterday's highs already starting to lower as well as thicken, and with clouds comes rain showers. I got your complete forecast coming up. Looks like your weekend could be a washout. See you soon. Average high of 63, so really close to seasonable highs. Records for today's date, record high of 87 degrees in 1923. Record low of 26 degrees in 1875. No rainfall currently, but that will all be changing within the next 24 hours. Here's your radar. This is what we're watching, a low-pressure system. Believe it or not, that's in the Ohio Valley, but these are the showers well in advance of that system already starting to move into our area. And we're not expecting any rainfall until after midnight, but the clouds associated with that system already moving in uh, throughout the tri-state area and then back behind us those showers will continue to blanket the region from Saturday also through Sunday so again pretty wet going into the weekend 63 currently in Poughkeepsie 54 in Bridgeport 50s in Islip as well as the JFK you see cooler temperatures near the water because we have an onshore flow and slightly higher temperatures once you work your way inland as far as your neighborhood numbers just take a Again, most places right now in the 50s, 52 in St. George and Staten Island, also looking at 53 down in Totenville. And again, throughout tonight, temperatures will not be really bad. It's not going to be the temperatures. It's going to be that rainfall that's coming in. 57 in Springfield, 54 in North Branch, and 53 right now in East Brunswick. Again, a low-pressure system that's been bringing and causing a lot of showers in the Ohio Valley headed in this direction. Again, that storm system is going to take its own sweet time getting out of here. Also, there's a cold front along with it. So temperatures, again, will continue to be going in that up and down pattern that we've grown accustomed to. Here's your future cast. Again, cool throughout the day today. But take a look at that storm system. It comes in, creeps in. Best chance of showers will be moving in the overnight hours. And look at all the green and yellow. That is rainfall. Could be pretty heavy late Saturday and also early Sunday morning. Maybe two to three inches in some places. We even have a concern with coastal flooding because it's going to be so breezy with all those rain showers across the area. Also, for the baseball forecast, we're 7.05 tonight with the Orioles and the Yankees. It's going to be cloudy and breezy. Thank goodness the rain showers are going to hold off to much later on tonight. So for tonight, clouds will thicken and rain will be moving in late. City temperature in the lower 40s. Suburbs ranging from 40 to 45 degrees. Again, not expecting the rain showers until about 3 o'clock in the morning. And then for tomorrow, if you're heading out, make sure you have the umbrella handy. Morning temperature in the mid-40s. By lunchtime, 49 degrees. By dinnertime, 47. Tomorrow's high temperature, 50. Again, today, 63. Tomorrow, 50. We continue that downward pattern. Even have a threat of a thunderstorm a late tomorrow afternoon and also throughout the day for Sunday. So really stormy weather coming into the weekend. That is a quick look at your weather. Coming up, I got your five-day forecast. It looks like those showers could be sticking around. Don't want to miss it. See you soon. Doing tonight, Tracy. And we are looking at the clouds already across the area, and the rain isn't far behind. Just when will the rain begin, and more importantly, when will it move out? I got your forecast. It's coming up. Thanks, Tracy. And this weekend, rain showers will help alleviate the concern for brush fires. I got your complete forecast. It's coming up. Oh, man, that's, that's telling it like it is. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> well, we probably will be stuck in the movies this weekend. Among yeah. Well, we're going to be stuck right? somewhere, and we we'll be, be thinking of you, yeah. Tracy. Oh, thanks Thank for the you. nice I hope they're nice and wonderful thoughts. <laughs> they're like, we'll try. we're not going to say anything about that. No, you are going to be stuck. And you know what some other dropped golf ball sized hail. Take a look at the size of these chunks of ice in Austin. The hail dented roofs and cars and forced everyone to take cover. And again, we're not looking for any type of severe weather to that length. But again, we do have showers moving in and also the possibility of thunderstorms. Here's your radar. Again, showers starting to advance towards the northeast. Not expecting any rain showers here until after midnight. And then that threat of showers will remain a part of the forecast at least for the next three to four days, believe it or not. Clouds and radars again, looking at clouds already streaming in across the area. Those showers right now in the Ohio Valley will start to work themselves into forecast throughout the overnight and could be heavy at times going throughout your weekend. Here are your temperatures. 63 in Poughkeepsie, 54 again in southern and as well as coastal Connecticut. Moving in, taking a look at the Bronx, 55 in Baychester, 58 in Hunts Point. And again, today was a rude awakening to the fact that it is still spring, still an up and down pattern. Yesterday's high 83, today 63.
still looking at the 50s in northeast New Jersey with 56 in Montvale, 57 in Nutley, and 59 in Mount Hope. Again, for tonight, here are the changes that we are expecting. Again, first and foremost, as far as your temperatures, not a big deal. You can see the 70s down in Atlanta, 65 in Memphis, 76 right now in Kansas City. This storm system is going to start to move in, and that's going to give us the clouds that will be increasing throughout the evening hours. And then the threat of rain showers will be moving in in the overnight hours and also throughout the day for Saturday as well as for Sunday. Jet stream again showing that low pressure system right now in the Ohio Valley. It's going to start to move into the area. By Sunday again, we could be seeing, especially early Sunday morning, still the potential for a thunderstorm and also really heavy rainfall across the area. So for tonight, clouds will start to thicken, rain moves in late, city temperature in the lower 40s, suburbs ranging from 40 to 45 degrees, winds out of the southeast and veering out of the east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those easterly winds will bring us really cool temperatures for tomorrow. Morning high, morning temperature in the mid 40s, by lunchtime 49, tomorrow's high temperature 50, the threat of a thunderstorm moves in late tomorrow evening. That's going to be with us throughout the overnight and also Sunday morning. And here's a come and dry. We have had the concerns of brush fires, so the rainfall will be a good thing, but it could be breezy and also pretty stormy over the weekend. So I'll tell you what, on Sunday I'm going to save you some uh, lamb and some kuladakia and some oh. red eggs now and all that you do it over You know what you have to say, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kalo Pasca. See that? Kalo Pasca. Kalo Pasca. Rosanna, you got it down pat. Tracy's picking it up, Kalo too. Pasca. Thank you. Kalo yeah. Pasca. Thank you. All right. Coming up, plenty of sunshine. Our temperatures have been very mild. Today, more seasonable. Today's high temperature is 63 at Central Park. Current well. Coming up, we got to look at your five day forecast and see if uh, we can put away the umbrella for a while. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Fat chance. Thanks, Trey. To do it. Thank goodness it was today. Yeah. Hey, now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rick's a little bit in la la land. We'll bring him back. I wish I had known about this earlier. <laughs> no, you're right. Today was a good day because he had sunshine. So tomorrow it's going to be pretty wet across the area. So they had a really good day. So we are very close to seasonable highs for today's date. Record set for today's date. Record high of 87 degrees in a 1923 and a record low of 26 degrees in an 1875. Clouds and radar are showing again clouds already moving in and back behind them. The rain showers are not too far behind. They're going to start to move in after midnight and they're going to be really heavy across the area throughout your weekend. 60s in Poughkeepsie, 52 in Bridgeport, 50s in Islip as well as JFK. How about your neighborhood numbers? Well, look at some of them and again today much cooler across the area. 55 in Baychester, 55 in Hunts Point in the Bronx and again for tomorrow even cooler. We got easterly winds coming in off the ocean so again temperatures for tomorrow will barely get out of the 40s. Right now, 56 in Springfield, 54 in North Branch, and 53 in East Brunswick. Again, we have a couple of storm systems headed in this direction. And first and foremost, clouds start to move in, then rain showers, and then Saturday night into Sunday morning is the best chance of heavy rainfall as well as thunderstorms as a low pressure system starts to deepen as well as move closer to the area. Here's the culprit, the bad guy, right here in Ohio. It's going to start to move in our direction as early as now. Here's your future cast again today. Really nice, but still cool across the area. High pressures brought us beautiful weather. Say goodbye, it's leaving, and as it moves, it allows for this low pressure system to build in. You can see the best chance of showers start to move in early Saturday, and as that low pressure system gets closer, you see more yellow. That is heavier convection, that's heavier downpours, and also again, the threat of a thunderstorm late Saturday afternoon through early Sunday morning. Maybe a little relief late Sunday afternoon, but really doesn't look like it. For tonight, clouds start to thicken again, rain showers moving in after midnight. For tomorrow, make sure you have the umbrella handy. Maybe, you know, what do you call those shoes that you don What do you call them? Galoshes. Is that not the best of weekends. Doesn't look like bikini weather. No, not at all. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Let man. it go, Rick. Let it go. Trying to get in trouble this weekend, <laughs> aren't you? You went to sleep in the park, don't you? <laughs> Hello, Cal. Hi, uh -huh. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm not digging you out. <laughs> it's a uh, high time. To see it to believe it. Coming up next. Folks, 3D is actually named after the technology used to create the line. You cannot, ladies, see anything in 3D on the underwear. So you can't underwear. see through the underwear? You can't see through it. You can't see around it. It doesn't have any dimensions. So there's, well, I'll just, I won't say anything. <laughs> No previews. <laughs> no previews. No previews. Rosanna right. Scotto and Ernie Anastas are coming back at 10 for Rishia and Tracy. I'm Darry Alexander. Sometimes, you know.
Uh huh. I'm Rick Fullbaum. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody. Geraldo at Large is coming up next on today's show. An indecent proposal, outrage in Oklahoma over one man's quest to find a virgin bride. Stick around.